Hi, I'm Dr. Deb, and this is Sahifa, March 13th. And I am here with Bob Krebs and Mark C. and four outstanding students because today's podcast is on our students' accomplishments they performed at Carnegie Hall. Before we have the stars of the show introduce themselves, I'd like to ask Bob and Mark to explain what it is that these students accomplished. Yeah, I'm Bob Krebs, uh, choral music teacher here at ASD. And um, our students here auditioned for uh, American High School Honors Program, which is uh, sponsored in the States, for basically a mass choir and band. Um, and uh, they were selected from, uh, from over th uh, several thousand students that, that auditioned for this program. Yeah. The American High School Honors Performance Series was actually um, we received an invitation from this organization two years ago and um, with this group of four students participating this is the third year in which we've actually nominated students and to which based upon a rigorous audition they were uh, honored to be selected to the festival and so based upon, I'm thinking, um, tapes of your singing as well as your playing, um, the tapes were reviewed and you were selected among um, 10,000 applications, which is phenomenal. So we want to hear from you. Tell us the story from arriving, did you practice, um, how were you prepared, and then the actual concert. Uh, okay, my name is Mary Lou King and I'm in grade 12 and I was part of the choir in New York City at Carnegie Hall. I sang a soprano too. Uh, before I left for Carnegie Hall, what happened was all my music was sent to my home in Canada. So when I went home over winter break, I got my music and I started looking through my part and our choral director sent us a long series of notes. So we had to go through and make notes within the music of the things she wanted done in particular. So from the beginning, when you get it, you have to go through and you have to think about all these different elements, not only your notes, but how you're supposed to breathe, what sound you're supposed to make, like your tone quality. So there was a lot of things that went into it beforehand when you actually got there. Hi, my name is Tope Akinade and I'm in grade 11. Um, I was chosen as a second clarinet in the honor band and um, well, beforehand, I did prepare my music, but the, like when you actually got there, everything came together. So even if you had practice and you knew the notes and like you had the technicalities down, like we actually got there and we performed together and like the music sort of developed into something like much greater. And it was a really nice experience to be able to be with all of those people who were so like invested in music and invested in practicing and like actually make like really great music together. Hi, uh, I'm Jabril Samples, and I'm in grade 11, and I was selected to play tenor saxophone. Um, being in New York City, Sen and I had gone last year as well, and each time it's just a profound experience. Um, playing with such amazing musicians, there's nothing like it, and it makes you so much of a better musician in so many ways, the way you listen, the way you play, the way you work together with all of these people around you and it all fell into this beautiful um, this beautiful concert in the end that honestly changed a lot of the way um, I play my instrument and how I think about music and how I love music. Um, hi, I'm Sen Huang and so basically the experience was amazing. Um, I played first clarinet in the bands, and I think the best thing about the band was how, really how good everyone was. Like instantly, you could hear like from the first uh, warm up that we played, it was just a simple scale. Um, everyone was playing with like a beautiful warm tone, and like there was no one like playing wrong notes or squeaking or any of that stuff. And everyone was just playing so well, and like right from that moment, I knew like we were gonna have a super good concert. Well, I should say that um, the uh, the audience at Carnegie Hall is a capacity audience, and uh, you receive standing ovations for your performances. Uh, it must have been a thrill, I would think, to perform in one of the world's greatest venues. I mean, there's Carnegie Hall, and then there are other concert venues around the world, but that's the standard by which you measure, you know, the finest places to perform in the world. And um, Sam was selected as... 
Yes, I should should add that Sen was the concert master, principal clarinet for the uh, honor band, and uh, Sen didn't realize that until he got to New York City and and rehearsals began. So that was a, an, a special achievement and quite an honor. What uh, an amazing accomplishment. And when we think about you representing the American School of Doha, the fact that we had four people there, four of our students there representing our school, and that you were able to perform with the best of the best singers and musicians in the United States, it is absolutely a testimony to our program and a testimony to you as individual students. So know that we are extremely proud of you, that what you have accomplished is phenomenal, and um, we salute you and the program. And that's Sahifa this week. Thank you.